Greetings, Montaiser here and here's some Empire Total War. I'm going to play a battle here. Um, it's a campaign, haven't played that many turns. Playing as Austria, currently here, as you can see, many red wars work with the Prussia as well as Poland. And the Prussians have conquered Saxony, I want to drive them out. I have an army here, lots of line infantry. I have my own army here, and I'm going to attack this small army that stands just outside Dresden. Mainly because then this army will appear as reinforcements, but it's very early. As far as artillery go, we have fixed artillery, so so we don't. So as you are going to see now. Uh, The artillery won't appear that the artillery unit they have in the small army attack will, but these two artillery units are not going to be a factor in this battle, nor will they get any firelock armed citizens that they would get since it's, they don't have a false stack in there. So, well, let's see how things are going Here we to go. Are. Somewhere outside Dresden. And then. Uh, Lots of buildings here, so not a good place here for artillery. So, as it's fixed artillery, they, the artillery is going to have to sit over there, right? Stop. It's like to put it all. Oh, I'm, yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to set up my arm here. Here, maybe they get to shoot something, maybe they don't. So, uh, First, set up my army. I'm going to do this very quickly since I want to take out the enemy army as quickly as possible. I do have a whole bunch of cavalry. Maybe not too much. I have some militia there. I'm not going to be as slow as some pandur. They are very early light infantry. Not really that good. But. And I have one unit of Python in this army. Yeah, Python aren't really that great, but let's. The enemy are holding their ground, waiting for us to take the battle to them. We need to form a line and attack. Yeah. So my artillery is not. And it looks like their other army is going to appear over there. That may be a problematic for my artillery. And you guys go over there. See my mighty Austrian line infantry marching through. And look at these guys over here in the open field. Nice uniforms and all that. Yeah, I when it comes to total war games, I I like Empire, but yeah, these artillery units would have been involved anyway since it's one of the few that aren't a fixed artillery unit, so they can move it around. One thing I have, one thing to note about the Austrian line infantry is that it's you know. Is that the, the units come uh, larger, although they are not as good in fighters individually. So, mm, not that much room to maneuver with the cavalry over there, but. Well, you know. Uh, cavalry is nice thing to have, although these guys, the these are not one selected provincial cavalry. Not good. They are the militia equivalent of cavalry, and I need to order my pikemen for it as well. Pikemen aren't really that great, but well, uh, they are. Uh, Rushing in here with their cavalry. Line with some 
I think one one big risk is that if they move something here, then and then my children may actually this actually may end up destroying that one. It can happen. Yeah, probably not a good idea to have the cavalry standing there. Luckily, it's just the most loss I've been in provincial cavalry, but I lost some lance of snap. Well, that's not good. And so let's move forward. Uh, get there, you can run some light infantry as well, some militia. to accomplish there. Yeah, they, they are deciding to get shot. It's always a smart move by the AI. The AI is so clever and these guys have... Oh, I should be able to it's since early battle I don't have bayonets. That's one reason why pikemen are still actually somewhat useful, but they aren't really that great. Whoa. Sure, what the enemy is, is planning, really. Well, I'm not really do, doing that good job in this battle. The enemy is doing even worse than I expect them to do, so. Wasting their bodyguards. Throwing away a uh, general, yeah, that, that's that's the AI for you. Well, he's still alive, and I'm not going to pursue him. Seems like the Prussians are going to allow me to flank them and I uh, really need to use my pander that They do have an advantage. Uh, being light infantry they have good range. But being light infantry that's pretty much the only thing they're good at. So. And here is all their other light infantry marching forward. Get them position quickly so that they end up fighting the enemy. So not my cavalry. One thing here in the Empire, you generally don't want to charge in your cavalry unless the enemy is actually occupied with something. If they are occupied, then your cavalry is going to do great. And one thing I like doing here in battles is actually zoom in, look at the action times. But now I'm also trying to. Commentate at the same time, so well, let's smash that flank. Hopefully, it will be enough to break them. It's Lampin, so they are resistant to Emperor And I'm not sure what they have been doing with that artillery. It could. Oh. 
I'm just gonna get the game to use it for my pipe members, maybe a little bit later. Okay, yeah. Otto Steinheim is dead. Can they are broken, broken, shattered. When the unit is shattered, they are knocked out completely. They are not going to reform. If they are just broken, they can hold themselves back together, but... But now they are shattered, so hold back my cavalry. After all, one thing is there is not to lose the battle by doing stupid mistakes. Which is something the AI has done, what they should have done were... Well, I'm not sure what, what they could have hooked with a small army attack, but the rest of the army tried to keep it together and not... Uh, well, they would like that since some of the losses have been from that army. And as you see, it's... Well, they are going to run the... Well, walk in one at a time, so... I have pretty good chances there. And my artillery... I don't expect they are going to get any kills, but maybe they have. Um, oh, that's my dead cavalryman. I think was killed by the enemy cavalry artillery, but maybe they got shot by my own artillery. Yeah. I don't think, I think the artillery is going to, if they keep firing, they are more likely to kill my own men than the enemy, so... Placed actually. You guys, you can ride out. Go here. When you are running your units all the way, they are getting going to get tired. But in this situation, I can get away with running the cavalry back and forth and try to make sure my cavalry gets good position. Now, I see. Yeah, the Russian. I, they, they don't seem to have. Been, I think they start with plug bayonets, but in order to. This time you actually have to order your... I'm not going to run my cavalry into those guys. One of my provincial cavalry units is broken, but overall I feel like I'm doing pretty well here. The enemy here is breaking. Well, they're all they are breaking and they are. One thing about battles, it's in a parade, a large part of maneuvering of various units. And I. Uh, yeah, get my pike maneuver here until you have. 
bayonets, they are going to be just as good in a hand to hand combat as your line infantry, so that's what killed me. I think one of the problems here in the game with the pikemen is well, there is the fact that they do get obsolete with technology after you have gotten, gotten access to sort of the bayonets, which allows your line to have bayonets all the time. Well, uh, and after you have the square formation, which the Prussians are using here, then, well, you shouldn't ex expect your. And, uh, here I'm not really paying attention, they get getting shot at. Pandas are not really suited for drawn out, drawn out fighting. Another problem with like maybe they sh honestly I think it maybe should be a little bit stronger and well they are no you. The Prussians are using formations to prevent my cavalry from being too you. Oh. Why are they getting these guys that are moving into the flank? Not really. That the situation over here isn't really that great. Like not still fighting some enemies here, but they are pretty good here in hand to hand, so they will help. With the rest support the rest, uh, they are enough to make sure the enemy breaks. And I'm dealing with these guys here, over here. Yeah. They I made, made quite a few mistakes, but the AI general does. You didn't really take advantage of having the mess all that line infantry it actually had so and now they are breaking what a ah, victory as soon as these guys break they seem to be the only one that hasn't have broken yet they are taking a bet to get out my cavalry and not really that useful enough on fine but panthers the militia should be able to shoot them while the cavalry try to get in behind them and for a final charge. I think I don't think these 70, 67 guys can turn the tide of the battle. Yeah, I have better, uh, more balanced army with actually having this cavalry. They had some cavalry, but they threw it away. And well, now they pay the price. So are there? Yeah, well, a close victory. That's actually pretty not that usual. Generally, it's heroic victories for some reason, even though there's nothing heroic about those victories. But well, I'll. And here yeah. we are at the post-battle screen. As you can see, my army was larger to begin with, but they had one unit of militia. They are not really that good. I lost 360, but they lost a bit more than that. Let's see, my, my cavalry, my demi cannons, they killed five guys. Yay. I really got used to that, and my other unit demi cannons, they killed 16 guys. I wonder how many of those. <laughs> uh, this is another, the provincial cavalry here did well, but really when you're using your cavalry to actually move in, break the enemy, they tend to get a lot of kills because when the enemy breaks, well, your cavalry will simply run around and cut them down. So yeah. Glorious victory. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.